Hello again. Uh, today I have a, a 2010 Mercedes E-Class, uh, especially this one, the E350. Uh, I just want to show you how to replace the motor mount the easiest way. Because I was just watching some videos that uh, you have to remove the exhaust and a lot of stuff you have to remove. Uh, some people trying to remove the EC compressor and uh, uh, alternator to get this out and um, even all that uh, but um, I want to show you another way uh, how to remove this one in an easy way with simple tools but the best thing that you need here is the flex wrench 60 millimeter for the top bolt for the motor mount which is the one gonna be on here that one so also you need the the eight millimeter uh, socket to remove the uh the bottom engine cover all this panel that you have to remove in the bottom also you need the uh, this socket e16 so what we're gonna start here is to remove all this panel very easy eight millimeter bolt you're gonna remove all the all the panels and next what you're gonna do is removing uh the motor mount bolts both at the both sides and then you're gonna uh put the engine stand i just bought some wood here to protect the band then you're gonna have to remove the four bolts for the engine mount i mean uh the frame and don't worry it's it's easy and it's not gonna fall down and it's not heavy also uh you can just move it a little bit or as much as you can uh remove the top bolt however you like i just move it a little bit but at the end i feel like i need to remove uh the frame so you can wiggle it like it's very easy don't, don't worry it's not gonna fall down see i can move it easily so so after you remove all that if you don't have this tool it's gonna be pain in the neck like you can get the small one but you need you need a lot of torque to just to break it loose and you don't want to mess up the head the bolt head so you're gonna have to have this tool you can get it from any uh parts store but uh you might need to order it online cheaper like 30 bucks or so from amazon or ebay this tool is very good master so uh sorry that i did this at the end but i just want to show you uh the easiest way to remove it so uh even after you remove it you have to uh, uh remove the frame bolts so you can get this out of here see that's easy you can put it in and out now sorry that i didn't start at the beginning I know I didn't do long videos, I'm not good in cameras, but I just to give you the idea, you know. So this is the wrench, I feel like I'm removing the bolt right there. You can see the bolt. Now because uh, I, I jacked the engine up that you cannot see. So anyway, to remove it, like you see here 
I'm gonna put this on top and start breaking loose the bolt. I'm gonna break it loose a little bit and then you can just stick your hand in there and lose it. So like you see, I already take off both of them without removing the exhaust or anything else. No worries, you're not gonna cut anything, wires or hoses. This is not the first time I've done that. But I just shared it, help someone out there looking for. This is the other one, you can see everything, it's on blaze, exhaust, everything. But now the engine is high because I left it. But before that, before I just, uh, before I jack up the engine, I just lose the frame bolts a little bit. All four, just lose it a little bit, let it lower down the engine with the frame. And then you will see that you will see the bolt is even right here. So you can put your tools up and start to break and loose the bolt for both sides. After you break, break it loose, you're gonna jack up the engine, lose all four bolts for the frame, and it's easy to get this out. You can get it out of here, you can get it out. For the right side, the passenger side, you can get it out of here. Very easy. And I forgot to tell you first, you're gonna have to disconnect the battery so you don't touch uh, the starter. Uh, the starter, uh, yeah, the starter, the starter wire over here. And that's a pretty much it. I'm gonna put everything back. You just start with the uh, the top bolt, then lower the engine, and you don't have to tie it all the way. You just you just tie the, the bolt a little bit, trying to put everything back together and tie it all together again. It's very easy and simple, and you will figure it out. And if you have any question, just comment below. Please like and subscribe for more easiest videos. Thank you for watching.